Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski early on this Thursday morning. Much different story than what we were dealing with five years ago here in Nebraska with a significant ongoing flooding along with blizzard conditions at the same time here. Many, many of you remember the great flood of 2019 affecting much of central and eastern Nebraska. Well, this morning, just a little bit of much needed rain out there. No thunderstorms at this point. We've got an area of low pressure down here in northeast Kansas. Best chances of rain are going to be right in here today, but we could see a little shower activity that actually builds back to the west. Might even change to snow briefly out west before pushing farther away from us and then really not becoming much of a concern later on. Strong northerly and northeasterly winds throughout the day today. You can see those winds. They'll be... Uh, They'll be up there around, uh, oh, 15 to 25 gusts to over 35 miles per hour uh, at times. Uh, you can see some of those winds here. And again, that north northeasterly direction around low pressure, which will be, now be to our east and northern Missouri uh, later today. Heading into tonight, the last of the rain pushing through eastern Nebraska should clear out by around midnight or so. We'll start to see clearing skies. Winds will die down overnight. Just a little bit of breezy out there. And then tomorrow morning, mostly clear. A couple of clouds, maybe some low clouds up to the north and northeast, and then a few more clouds off towards the uh, southwest. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, slightly breezy, especially more in the morning, less wind in the afternoon. Quiet weather tomorrow night, other than a cold front, which will approach Saturday morning. That front will dive southward on Saturday. Doesn't bring a lot of cooler air instantly, though, but the colder air will follow Saturday night, and especially into Sunday, we'll feel it a little bit more. Not brutally cold out there, but cooler air, but no precipitation, just a few clouds expected with that front, and a wind shift as well. So, temperatures for today will top out in the upper 40s, low to mid 50s, which is pretty close to average for this time of the year. A little chillier out west here, where there still is a chance of some snow out around Kimball. And again, maybe some snow for a time closer to the Colorado border, but eventually as that clears out, it'll warm up into the upper 40s there. Tonight's temperatures, mid to upper 20s and low to mid 30s for overnight lows. A little colder than we've been seeing recently. Highs tomorrow, though, not too bad. Mid to upper 50s, some even near 60 over uh, eastern and southeastern areas here. And then for uh, tomorrow night, not quite as cold, mostly in the 30s for overnight lows, maybe some near 40. Jumping ahead to your Saturday, it looks good. Again, with that cold front coming in, though, a little cooler up north in the lower 50s here but still upper 50s and low 60s as you go farther to the south. Let's check out the Tri-Cities seven-day forecast first with the next three days. Again, after today, the weather fairly inactive. Temperatures come up a few degrees Friday and Saturday. We'll drop down a bit on Sunday even then, though it doesn't look nearly as cold as previously expected, so that's not bad. The winds will be a little stronger there as well out of the north. And then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, temperatures start to come back up. We'll see dry weather through the first half of next week. Later in the week, it may turn a little more active with rain and or snow possible in the forecast. There's still a lot to be figured out, so I don't want to dive into the details because it is so far out yet. And there's not much confidence in that part of the forecast. But it does look like we'll trend a little cooler again as we head towards next weekend. This is March Madness weekend right here, Thursday, Friday, Saturday here, the beginning of the NCAA basketball tournament. Technically, yes, I know it begins Tuesday, Wednesday, but really Thursday, Friday is when it kicks off, and then the second round comes in. The next round kicks, uh, gets going Saturday and Sunday. But if you're parked in front of the TV, uh, you'll miss out on the fun weather, but you know a lot of us have to go out and do things, and if you are going to be out traveling, it'll be something to watch for down the road. But again, it is a long ways out yet, so I'm not going to get too worked up over it. Looking at the North Platte forecast, no major differences, just a small chance of rain though today. Maybe even a degree or two warmer in uh, North Platte for a high today, windy as well. Temperatures coming up Friday and Saturday, they'll come back down a little bit on Sunday behind that front and then back into the 60s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Beyond that, just like the Tri-Cities, maybe a bit of a cool down late next week with some moisture chances possibly returning to the forecast. Well, I want to thank you all for watching on this Thursday morning. I'll be back with you to wrap up the work week on a Friday morning. Until then, I hope it's a good one for you. Take care and God bless. Bye.